Dustin Poirier is one of the most successful UFC legends in recent memory. The 34-year-old wins over the likes of Conor McGregor and Max Holloway, but I think it's about time he needs to consider retiring. Why? Well, he's already accomplished everything he needs to. Dustin Poirier has firmly cemented his legacy in the UFC. He has won Fight of the Night awards an astonishing eight times, Performance of the Night awards twice, and was the interim lightweight champion at one point in time. He's also been able to take down some of the biggest names in MMA, including Eddie Alvarez, Max Holloway, Conor McGregor, and Dan Hooker. He's one of the most entertaining fighters in the game and is able to put on an amazing show each time he steps into the octagon. Poirier's already done enough to show that he has what it takes and doesn't need anyone else to prove it. Not even a belt. He's definitely earned his place in the UFC Hall of Fame. The main reason why people still want him in the UFC is the fact that he's never won an actual title. But that's likely never going to happen anyways. Why? Well, it's because Poirier doesn't need the title. Most people chasing after titles and accolades are young guys looking to make a name for themselves. But do you really think Dustin freaking Poirier needs to make a name for himself? No way! He's already a legend! To chase the title would only tarnish Poirier's legacy. And with that in mind, it's best that he continues to fight for the love of the game rather than solely for a chance at winning a championship belt. He's already accomplished so much and has nothing left to prove. He's a master of his craft and should be celebrated for what he's already achieved. Not something he could potentially achieve. On top of that, it's not like Poirier is getting along well with the UFC leadership either. Let me tell you, Dustin Poirier and Dana White don't exactly see eye to eye. It's safe to say that their relationship is a little strained. Dana White, as you all might know, has been in quite a bit of controversy lately. He was caught on camera slapping his own wife. Poirier, who's probably the most famous example of a wife guy in the UFC, probably didn't take it too well. And that's exactly what happened. Poirier outright condemned White and said, you should never put your hands on a woman. He added that this wasn't a good look for Dana. That's not exactly a ringing endorsement for Dana White. This is despite the fact that many other UFC fighters came in White's defense after the incident. But Poirier was notably missing among them. It seems like the more Poirier and White butt heads, the less likely they are to ever get along. And what's more is that it makes Poirier's eventual retirement even more likely. On top of that, many of Dustin's contemporaries have also left. One of the few men he lost to, Khabib Nurmagomedov, retired all the way back in 2021. In fact, it seems like Khabib is ready to cut all ties to MMA in general. Why did Khabib do that? Well, he felt like he'd already accomplished everything he needed to in the UFC. While Dustin's career isn't the same level of legendary as Khabib, it's time he takes a page out of his book. Does he want to continue fighting, or does he want to cement his legacy? Bear in mind, there are a few things that Dustin could potentially take on. Dustin Poirier and Colby Covington have had a long, tumultuous history. They were once teammates at American Top Team, and allegedly got into several altercations due to Covington's attempts to instigate fights. Covington also attacked the Diamond's reputation by posting sparring footage of Poirier in a bad light, insulting his wife and daughter in a post-fight interview. Poirier has made it clear that he is open to settling their differences in the octagon, so this could be an explosive matchup if it ever comes to fruition. But I think he should stay away from the fight against Colby Covington. It's clear that there's plenty of history between them, so it can definitely be an exciting showdown to watch. But at the end of the day, Poirier is likely going to lose. I mean, Covington's the one with two welterweight title challenges and Poirier isn't exactly a natural welterweight either. Plus, if he loses this fight, his legacy could be forever tarnished. Also, it's not like Poirier needs more money or fame at this point in his career. He's already made a name for himself and established his legacy, so why risk it all now? But Covington was never really the money fight, was it? The fights that truly cemented Poirier's name in the history books for years to come 
was the greatest trilogy in MMA history. I'm talking about his fights against Conor McGregor. Poirier first fought Conor when The Notorious was at the peak of his career. Predictably, he lost. But he still had a great showing. Years later, Conor and Dustin got together for a rematch. This time around, Dustin had gotten a few more wins under his belt. And guess what happened? Conor got knocked out. It was one of the greatest knockouts I'd personally ever seen. Of course, this eventually led to a first bout between these two fighters. This fight was important. It was like a battle for ultimate supremacy. Conor wanted to prove Poirier's earlier win was just a fluke. Poirier wanted to prove that he was one of the best fighters in the UFC. And in the end, Poirier won after breaking McGregor's leg in half. It was one of the most gruesome things you could see on live TV. The image of McGregor's leg just dangling around is something I still can't get out of my head. All in all, it was the best end to a trilogy. Which brings me to my next point. A quadrilogy would ruin the whole thing for Dustin. I'm sure Connor would love a fourth fight, but Dustin can't risk losing another fight to Connor. The second consecutive win against Connor McGregor cemented Dustin Poirier as an absolute legend. It was by far the most memorable moment of his career. Is he really going to risk it for another payday? Well, with both of these potential fights out of the picture, what more is left for Poirier to even do with his career? I'm not sure there's much left for Dustin Poirier to do in the UFC at least. He's had a long, successful career and has achieved so much already. He's one of the most exciting fighters in the UFC and has proved his worth numerous times. At this point, Poirier should really consider retiring from MMA. His legacy is firmly cemented and he's done more than enough to prove himself. He's already an all-time great and is considered by many as one of the best lightweight fighters ever. If he chooses to continue to fight, it won't do much for his legacy and he more than likely won't be able to top what he has already accomplished. Retiring would allow Poirier to focus on his family, travel the world and even focus on his various charities. Poirier is an amazing fighter who has achieved so much in his career and I wouldn't mind him taking a break and just relaxing. That doesn't mean I won't miss him. It's going to be sad to see him go. But does he really have anything left in the tank for us? Probably not. Do you think Dustin Poirier should retire? See you in the next one. I'm just happy, man. I'm, 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 I'm happy in the place I am. Like I say over again, I'm happy with the man I see in the mirror. I wasn't happy until I was in there. I'm going to show the world that I'm the best fighter to ever fight in the lightweight division.